everyone. I am back for another fabric call. It is during nap time, so I am in my laundry room um, trying to just keep my voice down and to make it work. We live in a shoebox of a house, and so this is just kind of the best the best place during nap time. So, fabric haul. This is stuff for fall and winter. That's the next season. Fall and winter. All of y'all that had to do in Christmas stuff since like July. I don't know. I don't know how y'all have the time. I'm just getting into it. A bunch of goodies. I got these yesterday. I practiced a huge amount of self-control and not digging into everything. I did go through like the actual, I did look through the bags, but I haven't opened any of the bags. I'm very proud of myself. I know. Um, anyway, everything will be linked down below. As always, it's from Farmhouse Fabrics. Well, at least like 99% of my, of my sewing stuff is from Farmhouse Fabrics. I recommend them highly. I've been recommending them highly before, you know, we partnered up with the whole YouTube and they do send me all of this stuff. Now, none of this is like sponsored. I'm not paid to say any of this sort of stuff. Um, I promote them them because I love their service. Their customer service is just amazing. Their products, well, they're not, they get products from all around the world, okay? So they're like, they gather things from like New York or Italy or wherever, you know, all over the world. Um, and it's just really great quality. They can filter things out really well. And so, you know, when you're buying from them that it's going to be a good quality product and they're going to stand by it because like I said, their customer service is amazing. And they come in these really pretty packages. So you'll see they're all wrapped up and they've got these little bows and they're just really pretty and then often if you've bought in like buttons or little doodads they will have the little doodads kind of hidden amongst your fabric okay so let's get into it alrighty so let's start with Christmas why don't we do that Christmas this I believe this is the velvet. Yep, this is a cotton velveteen. Um, it's black. And what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm going to be doing the base of uh, Audrey's dress. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I haven't made up my mind if it's going to be uh, sleeveless or if it's going to have long sleeves on it. But I'm going to have some sort of like a bodice, you know, sort of style dress. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this lovely fabric on top of it okay so I'm, I want to say that I'm only going to put this on top of the skirt portion and leave the bodice portion you know just the black velvet and then this on top of the black velvet is just gonna make it pop oh it's gonna be so fun because you see that like like here I mean it's pretty but then you put it on top of a color especially something that's so contrasting like like black and you can just see all of it Oh, it's gorgeous. And I love, like, um, there's a good amount of cording, I think that's what that's called. Um, I believe this was from France, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look at my notes or look on online. But, um, yeah, it's really pretty. I'm very looking forward to that. And that's neat. Like, so I think I can play around with this, this scallop edge. I'll have to play around with it. But I think I can... I can use that to hem it. Maybe I can just like trim it off and have it be secure. I'll have to play around with it and see how it how it works. And then for little Henry, maybe I should organize this first. All right, we're organized. So, so that's Audrey's. Let me let me get the buttons before you for her Christmas dress before I move on. Here they are. Oh, they're so pretty. So these are a vintage accessory. I thought they were buttons. They have like a little pin. I don't know. I'm going to play with that, play with those and see how these work. I haven't seen that before. Anyway, they're really pretty. So Henry's little outfit for Christmas. I'm doing these um, sweet long trousers. Like just long trousers. I'm doing these sweet trousers. I'm a little tired. I've been, I didn't sleep well last night. And then I've just been up since like 5, 5.30 when Audrey got up. So I'm, I'm a little bit. Um, we've been, and we've been going all day, uh, so I'm just a little tired, but this is some sweet, uh, like navy velvet, another cotton velveteen, and I'm going to do trousers for him, I think those will be so adorable, um, and then having his little Christmas shoes, you know, like peek out from underneath the pants, and then I'm going to do a button down on, um, this is, a cotton, um, What's the word? 
Ah, Pima cotton. <laughs> That's what it's called, Pima cotton, if I can get my thoughts together. Um, so that's what they're doing for Christmas. And then for their coats, let me show you. I am super excited about this. So I have been getting into like more like couture sort of techniques, if you will. I've been reading up on Chanel and, and trying to, as much as they expose, like allow the rest of the world to get in on, I've been trying to read up on it. So I'm going to try you know, to kind of expand my techniques with these coats and I'm going to be doing something similar because I don't really have a coat pattern. Um, they don't really, there's not a lot of coat patterns out there for little ones and so I'm going to be doing a similar sort of style video where I just released the ones of uh, Prince Louis where I took CC Jamie and I just expanded it and kind of like made the pattern as I went along. I'm going to be doing something similar um, where I'm just going to make up the pattern as I go along and I'm going to walk you through the process. So this is a what do they call it? A hong's tooth or something or other. Um, it's a very classic design. Um, really love what this fabric feels wonderful. I'm really happy with this. The thing about this though is that it is on um, kind of the thin side. I mean it's not thin. It's like, a, it's like a medium weight fabric but for a winter coat it would be too thin. And even I'm going to line it. Oh my god isn't that just so sweet. And then the buttons I mean, come on, you know, it's kind of like a classic, like a, like a spin on the classic, like, black and red sort of, you know, white combo, which I'm really excited about. But even all of these fabrics, you know, together was not going to make a good winter coat. So, a farmhouse has this Amish um, flannel fabric, and I thought, well, I could take that and do that as, like, an interlining, you know what I mean? Um, underlining, whatever. And I think what I'm going to do is do the Chanel like quilting experiment with that for the first time, which would be great because then I'm quilting, you know, the interlining or underlining or what do they call it when you put them together? I can't remember what, which way it is, but I can quilt all these fabrics together. So I think that will be just really fun and it will be a good learning experience. And um, her coat for at least... Well, at least this year. Her last coat, the red wool one, lasted for the past two years. I took out the sleeves and the hem on it a little bit last year, and it was good to go. But this year, she's ready for another one. So, okay. Henry's little coat, then, is this wool. This wool is plenty thick for a winter coat, so I don't need to do any of the sandwiching that I'm going to be doing with Audrey's. This wool kind of reminds me more of the wool that I used in that Audrey's red coat. Um, although it is thicker and it's not quite as... What's the word I'm looking for? The one for Audrey's, that wool was more smooth. That was like a, a polyester wool blend, if I remember correctly, and it felt really nice. This also feels very nice. It has some texture to it, and it said on the description that it was boiled uh, wool, which I have never experienced boiled wool. I don't really know. I don't really know anything more about that. And I thought though, but this that this would make some really sweet lining to it. I'm gonna sneeze. Um, sorry, but I thought this would just be some really, you know, pretty lining to that coat. It's, just, it's an Italian cotton. If you've never had a tell, if you've never felt it, you should go get some Italian cotton. It's incredible stuff. One day when, when we have our house all built up and life slows down some, I am going to make Italian cotton. Uh, definitely pillowcases, maybe sheets. I don't know. It's very, it's a very smooth, soft, cool fabric. So, that's kind of Christmas and, and Christmas coats. Oh, for Henry's, for Henry's um, coat, I'm doing these these metal buttons. They are imported from Italy, and they're just really sweet. I'm really happy with, with those. And then for Audrey's Christmas PJs, I'm going to experiment with this and um, see kind of where it leads me. But I love the idea of doing like a, like a PJ nightgown dress and cutting it on the bias and sort of playing with the flannel. But, um, or playing with the plaid, you know, the plaid design. It is a flannel. It feels like a super fine flannel to me. I'll have to check my notes, but it feels very soft and smooth and lovely. So that will be that, and I'm going to do some pants for Henry as well. Okay, so for fall, they're each kind of like fall going into winter. They're each getting two outfits. Um, I'm doing for Henry, I'm doing these sweet little cars with, uh, with this green 
corduroy. So all the corduroy that I'm about to show you is um, feather whale corduroy. If you're not familiar, it is a lighter weight corduroy. Now it's still corduroy, so it's not like sheer by any means. It's a medium weight fabric. I think that it is fine for the fall time and then when it becomes winter you can layer. So that's my plan. So this will be a um, CC Johnny and it will be like whatever reversible because Johnny is fully lined so you'll have these little cars on one side and you'll have this sweet little green uh, on the other side. I did get piping and I'm going to do this sort of gingham piping on that and just kind of have another little, little you know, pattern going on. Um, very folly. And then same thing, it'll be a CC Johnny. And I do have videos on how to do that. I think it has a smocked insert on it. Um, I'm not going to do any of these smocked. I'm just going to do the unsmocked version. If people are interested in a full-on sewing tutorial without the smocking, let me know. But if you're able to use the one that's already existing, then there's no point. So, but if you want the one that, you know, if you want the other one, that would be helpful to you, just let me know, and I can record it as I'm making these. But this is a really sweet color combination, I thought, and I'm going to do the blue piping um, on this guy. So, um, it has a tiny little, uh, like, embroidered section to it, and you can just, it's the ever so slight light, blah, blah, blah. It's the ever so slightest, like, little raised bit to it. It's a really neat fabric, and I think it's really sweet. Um for fall time and so Johnny is sleeveless so it'll it's fine for fall and then when you get into winter time you can throw on like a long sleeve underneath of it and layer do that sort of thing you know with a store bought what one and layer and then for Audrey I'm doing two dresses for her she is all about the dresses these days the bigger the skirt the bigger the twirl if it does not twirl she wants nothing to do with it so I'm going to have to do some full skirts with these. I'm not sure if I'm going to do box pleats or if I'm going to get, like, I don't know what sort of skirt I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to do two dresses um, and I'm going to embellish them. I am seriously about to sneeze. Anywho, so these are the, I'm going to sneeze. So this is the little trim. Nope. Sorry. So this is the trim. These are both the same sort of style. They are a bias band, um, and the idea, well, and they're a bias band with the pico, the pico edge to it, if I'm saying that right. Um, and so it has like a little crocheted, scalloped edge to it. The idea of these is that they are ready for you to sandwich like a raw edge in there. You just kind of put a raw edge, whether that's a, that's a, an armhole that you're just gonna, you know, leave sleeveless and, and close the raw edge with this, whether that's a neckline, the hem of your dress, whatever. Um, you know how I say it, sewing, you do you. So uh, both of these, so this will be the one for that, kind of a contrasting, you know, coordinating, contrasting sort of thing. And again, a kind of a contrasting, coordinating sort of thing. And buttons, 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 buttons with these. So I've got the yellow buttons for the purple one, and I've got these pink buttons for, you know, the the one with the pink, the pink uh, bias with the green. So I think those will be really darling. And again, they most likely will be sleeveless dresses, uh, but you just throw on a long sleeve shirt when it comes winter time or put a coat over top or, or whatever. And then, especially like our kiddos are tend to be long and lanky. So things like, well, especially with dresses that, that don't have a crotch, she could, uh, I see her wearing this for the fall, layering for the winter time, and I see no problem with her being able to wear this into the springtime, uh, you know, take off the layers now that it's warmed up, and continue to wear these outfits through the springtime. The girl just keeps growing up. <laughs> uh, we'll see about Henry, because he, obviously he's going to have a crotch for his. This red gingham, I ordered this, and I can't remember what it goes to. I don't have my notes in front of me, and this was a week ago. You know how much stuff happens in a week with little ones? Hmm. I check my notes. Anywho, then I got some of these, and these I got because, so I have a process with ordering from Farmhouse, okay? I, it, I've done it enough where I've ordered from them online that I've got it kind of down to a T. I go through, there's a whole method that I, oh crap, sorry. There's a whole method that I go through, um, and I'm thinking about doing a video on that to kind of 
share it for what it's worth. But at the end of my method, I kind of go through and I just browse for the sake of browsing because it's fun. So when I was in my browsing, I found these little things. And these, um, I don't think these buttons are new to a farmhouse. They're just like a plastic um, basket, but they were just like speaking to me. And I thought, oh my God, how adorable would that be? if I made um, like 3D flowers coming out of it. I mean, that would be so cute for Easter or something. Or even like you could do a boy versions and having maybe like little puppy dogs or I don't know, I wanna play around with them. So it got me three to play around with. Um, and I got these buttons. I am just such a sucker for buttons. These I thought were the coolest things ever. This is a covered button with like grommets on the inside of the button. Have you ever seen such a thing? How cool was that? They actually had two different colors of them um, and I just thought that they were really cool to play with. So uh, I got me some of those. Sorry. So I got me some of those too because it's just fun. You know, you, you'll get inspiration when they come in the mail and you'll be like, oh, I could pair that with that fabric or this fabric or, or whatever in your stash and kind of try to use things up and think about like maybe you've had a, you know, a piece of fabric sitting in your stash for a year or something and then you buy a dollar worth of buttons and you're like, that's what I can do with it. And then you've used that piece, you've made a garment out of it, you know. Um, so at any rate, so this is my fabric haul for the fall and winter time. Lots of videos coming up showing how I'm putting some of these together and techniques and different various things. Very excited about it. I know my energy is a little bit lower today than it normally is. I apologize. Um, but yeah, everything will be linked down below for this. I appreciate y'all for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.